Here's another example of proof by contraposition. Again, I'm dealing with even and odd integers, and I'm dealing with an if-then statement. So in order to do a proof by contraposition, I always will assume the negation of the hypothesis. Assume negation of hypothesis of conclusion, excuse me, of conclusion and prove negation of hypothesis. So in this case, the negation of my conclusion, n is even, would be that n is odd. The negation of my hypothesis would be that 3n plus 2 is odd. And careful, right? These are just quantifiers out here, um, letting us know that we're dealing with integers. So that isn't within our hypothesis and our conclusion. That's just background information about our variables, okay? So make sure that you're able to make that distinction because that can be confusing sometimes. Um, so let's see if we can figure this out, okay? So if we're trying to go from n is odd to 3n plus 2 is odd, we're going to need the definition of odd integers. Now if you notice, this looks a little bit easier, maybe, because look, it's easier for me to go from n is odd to something about 3n plus 2, right, than to start with 3n plus 2 and try to work backwards to n, okay? So it's easier to go forward, multiply by 3, add 2, okay? But hopefully you'll see that within the structure of this proof. So, um, so what I'm going to do when I go through this proof, the first thing that I'm going to do is assume that n is odd. So n is equal to 2 times some integer plus 1. And then I'm just going to do some algebra, right? So if n is equal to that, what's 3n plus 2 equal? Well, 3n plus 2 will be 3 times some odd integer because we're assuming n is odd plus 2. Now it's just algebra, right? 6k plus 3 plus 2, 6k plus 5. Okay, now here's a trick. I want to show that 3n plus 2 is odd. What I want to show is that 3n plus 2 is equal to 2 times some integer plus 1. So right now I have a plus 5. I want a plus 1. Okay. So there's a couple of ways to think about this. I know that 5 can be split up to plus 4 plus 1, right? And then we'd have our plus 1. Or since you want that plus 1, what if we just added 0? Okay. We can add 0 without changing the expression, right? negative 1 plus 1 is 0, so it's okay to add that onto our expression. It's not okay just to write plus 1, right, because I'd totally change the value of that expression. But I can write plus 1 as long as I write minus 0. So then, just like I said, right, we'll get plus 4 plus 1, okay? So add and subtract 1 if you want that 1 there, or just think about how to rewrite that number so that we get a 1, okay? Alrighty. Now, I can factor out that 2, and I've shown that 3n plus 2 is just 2 times some integer plus 1, and we'd be done. Okay, not too bad. All right, so let's write this out pretty, so it's easy to follow and everything's clear. All right, so proof. Now remember, your proof should stand alone, with or without the statement before it, okay? You should be able to look through the proof and clearly identify what possible implications have been proven, right? Um, so, we're going to start by let n be an integer. Assume for contraposition n is odd. Then, by definition of odd integers, n is equal to 2k plus 1 for some integer k. 
notice I'm involving, or excuse me, notice I'm not using symbols. You know, I'm not using that element of, I'm not using set symbols. So I'm trying to write out as much as I can so that everything's really easy to read and I don't have to have a crazy understanding of, of all these symbolic things to read it. Okay. Okay. Notice 3n plus 2 is equal to 3 times 2k plus 1 plus 2, just using that substitution there, is equal to 6k plus 3 plus 2 is equal to 6k plus 4 plus 1. And we could do that adding a subtracting of 1 there, but I just, well, basically what I did was um, rewrite that 2 as plus 1 plus 1, right? So I did that and then add to those. That's okay too. As long as it's clear that that 1 came from somewhere, right? Um, and it's still equal, right? As long as it's still equivalent and your reader can see that, you're fine. Okay. Thus, okay, since k, 3, 2 are integers, 3n plus 2 is 2 times some integer plus 1. Thus, by definition of odd integers, n plus 2 is odd. So we've proven the contrapositive. If the contrapositive is true, the contrapositive of the contrapositive, our original statement, must be true.